Let's say you are given a set S, and now you have to describe a subset A. One way to do this is to specify for each element of S whether or not the element lies in A. In doing so, you are effectively assigning a number 0 or 1 to each element, where 1 indicates that the element lies in A. In other words, specifying a subset is the same as specifying a function from S to the set consisting of two elements 0 or 1. But what if, instead of a simple binary yes or no option for inclusion, we allow for a partial inclusion along a spectrum? That is to say, we have a membership function that assigns each element to a real number between 0 and 1 inclusive. Then what we have just described is a fuzzy subset of S. Now this idea lies at the heart of fuzzy set theory and fuzzy mathematics, which was started in 1965 after the publication of Lopfi Zadeh's seminar work, Fuzzy Sets. The beauty of fuzzy mathematics is that many concepts from ordinary set theory can be rewritten to use this membership function idea. This process is very creatively named fuzzification. Let me give you an example. Let us take a look at the concept of taking a union of subsets. When we take the union of subsets A and B in ordinary set theory, we say that an element is in A union B if it is in A or B or both. In the language of describing a subset as a function, Recall that we have the functions f a and f b describing the subsets a and b. We could have constructed a function f underscore a union b by taking the maximum of an element's value under f a and f b. Notice that the constructed function captures exactly the same elements that belong to a union b. This gives us an idea of how to generalize the concept of union to fuzzy set theory. Specifically, the membership function describing the union is obtained by taking the maximum of the individual membership functions. Similarly, the membership function describing the intersection is obtained by taking the minimum of the individual membership functions. Many more concepts of mathematics can be translated to fuzzy mathematics, and I have only covered the tip of the iceberg. If you are keen to find out more, comment below on which of these terms intrigue you the most. Now, before coming to the end of the video, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.